Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. As always, we're sponsored by Dieter's Consulting, Parks Yoga, and check us out on all of our platforms. Well, our lead story is Trump went to New Hampshire. Had a funny comment to make about the air conditioning, the high school gymnasium that he spoke in, <laughs> a couple thousand people. And then he uh, had a great line about Chris Christie. He said, Chris Christie is eating somewhere. <laughs> Then somebody shouted out, fat piggies. No, let's be civil and respectful. By the way, can you imagine what this must be like for Governor Chris Sununu? I can't stand that guy. Chris Sununu just keeps yapping and yapping and yapping his jaws, just like all the other rhinos. Or wait a minute, teacups. I like to call them teacups. I hate, I hate the word rhino. I just don't like the word. All right, Javier Loya. You know who this guy is? He's a minority owner of the Texans uh, is less than 1%. I mean, that's pretty minority. It's kind of like you get to say you own a part of it. That happens a lot in sports. Uh, the former college football player, natural gas brokerage company based in Texas, one count first degree rape, five counts of first degree sexual abuse, single count of third degree Jefferson County, Kentucky. Wow. You know what it always comes down to, don't you? Was it consensual? And this woman's looking for some money. Or is this guy really a bad dude? I guess we'll find out. Mitch McConnell protects old Joe Biden. He's come out publicly, finally spoken out, and he opposes impeachment. By the way, Rand Paul, our two Kentucky senators both oppose it. And it says he does not want to continue the impeachment cycle. No, you know what that means? They do it to Trump without basis, and then we're not supposed to do it to Hunter or Joe when there is basis. They're buddies, man. They are buddies, buddies, buddies. Uh, Harry lost a title. It's called H.R. Hayes, His Royal Highness. His Royal Heine. Let's keep the H.R.H., His Royal Heine. Have you ever seen two more privileged people self-destruct than these two folks? The marriage isn't going to last. You know what's going to happen? Megan is going to uh, use all that she this little journey of hers to help her in Hollywood. And he is going to go back to this royal family and say, my God, it's good to be back. That's what I predict. Oh, by the way, back to Chris Sununu a little bit. I just want to add this. Chris Sununu, he said this week what I've been saying for weeks, that Biden's going to use his medical uh, excuse to not run. I've been saying it for weeks. I, I bring that up because this is another example how these so-called national figures got nothing on me. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Next up, Fulton County. Trump says Fannie Willis apparently had an affair with a gang member. <laughs> you know what? It's already worked. Don't you look at her and think, did she have an affair with a gang member? A fling with a gang member? She's going to be bringing out her little thing. You know what? I'm just telling you like it is. She is an angry black woman, racist, who wants to get herself a piece of the Trump pie. That's what it's all about. It's a joke. Not to mention the fact the Georgia uh, issue is already into the D.C. indictment. Let her indict. Unbelievable. Uh, this is wild. The mayor of Tampa went fishing down in Key Largo. <laughs> and guess what, in the Keys? She reeled in 1.1 million of cocaine. I'm glad she caught it before the sharks ate it. <laughs> They've been talking about sharks been eating this cocaine that they keep finding. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, Laura Ingram, and I, and I like this. Laura Ingram said something. I always give credit. She said that Trump represents a regular citizen who can't seem to get a break. 1,000%. And that's why he bonds with all of us. We can relate to that. He, he's like, you know, just keeps getting crapped on. The Sixth Circuit reversed a federal district judge who's, who in sentencing, this guy said, he looks like a criminal. <laughs> a federal judge is supposed to keep his mouth shut. But that's pretty funny. He looks like a criminal. By the way, I had a judge a 90-some-all-year, I'm sure he's dead now, retired judge from Michigan who was on my appellate panel for Terry Williams' case, the naked black man that got almost tased to death. And his whole thing was, 
What's he doing naked out on the internet? In other words, the Fourth Amendment doesn't apply to a naked black man. <laughs> By the way, he had a real long name too, Sabrina. His name was like Schnellen Blocken Bubble Burger. And he was it was such a long I said, yeah, he's a Nazi. He's a good old German Nazi. What's that naked? By the way, the reason why Terry Williams is out in the interstate naked was he took an ecstasy pill and he got too hot. So he started going home. He took off his clothes because he was so hot. But if that happens to you, the police are allowed to tase you to death. All right. Uh, what else do we have here? Boom, 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 boom. January 6th committee. You ready for this? They didn't preserve the records. No records on the security, the Capitol Hill security failures. Hmm. I just hate these people. Liz Cheney. Liz Cheney. She was such a bright star once upon a time. Now it is burnt out. Joe Biden goes to the Grand Canyon. He shuffled in, got to the podium. Do you know, folks, it's not nine wonders of the world. <laughs> he said nine wonders of the world. <laughs> and then he said, he wants to say iconic species. He called ironic species. <laughs> That is ironic. <laughs> One of the Earth's nine wonders. <laughs> Joe, Joe's a, Joe is a buffoon. That's the word that I, I always think about with him is buffoon. All right, Joe Biden backed this electric car company um, called Broterra. Hit him in the White House and everything else. Bankrupt. Eh. Sorry, they couldn't compete against uh, Tesla, I guess. Anheuser-Busch is going to be selling off brands because they're collapsed. By the way, is this not amazing? One stupid marketing person, unchecked, has destroyed an entire company. By the way, the Bush family heir came on and spoke about how terrible it was. I hope he diversified his stock portfolio. That would hurt, wouldn't it? Maybe you'd be part of the lawsuit. All right, the White House cocaine, they claim there's leaks coming out that they know who it is, it's a member of the Biden family orbit, and Joe knows. You know it's Hunter Biden. It's unbelievable. We need that. We need the truth on that. We need to know. We, he, they apparently told, told Joe. Joe knows. Uh, what else do we have? Trump nicknames. I, I went off laughing. I did a Facebook Live yesterday and a Facebook Live this morning about this. Trump's nicknames are just hysterical. Just hysterical. Pocahontas. <laughs> Low energy jab. On and on and on. Um, check out my Facebook lives. Aramco, the third largest company in the world. Lost a lot of money, but still paid out big time business. You know what? The Saudis just want to buy the world, don't they? Uh, Getz, he wants to bring, uh, Matt Getz wants to bring in immunity issue by bringing in Trump into Congress, questioning him on some things, and therefore, Get him some immunity. Pretty slick move. I say do it. Papa John's, his lawsuit's going to get to go forward. Thank goodness against a marketing company that basically derailed his. I mean, you know what? What happened to him is just awful. He used the N-word expressing that it was used. And this happens to him. Uh, Vivak uh, Ramaswamy is closing in on Ron DeSantis. In some states, he's ahead of him. Bama Riverboat Brawl, this was a big deal. And um, I'd like to, I'd like to, this to be a cut, Sabrina. Let me, let me tell you about this. Uh, a black man who's working uh, for a riverboat company uh, gets, off, gets on the dock to ask these guys uh, who look like your typical visor wearing uh, frat boys, drunk probably, they've all been arrested now and asked him to move their boat because it was blocking where he needed to park his boat. And they attacked the guy. They attacked the guy. A big, young black man, I think he's only 17 years old, he looked like he's 30, swam to shore to help the guy out and helped him out. Okay? You watch this. And this is a great example of the difference between you and me and the racist Democrats. You watch this, and you're like, what the hell are these guys doing? And thank God this guy got help. But just like most Americans, I feel awful for this guy. 
Thank God he got some help. And screw those guys that beat him up. Now, the blacks jump into this thing. The racist blacks jump into this thing. Oh, white guys beating up black. They never say anything, of course, when blacks beat up a white guy. Or blacks kill blacks. It's only when they have their agenda playing out. I just want to point out, that just, it's just another example. Nobody watching this wouldn't be on the side of the black guy. <laughs> it's nothing to do with race. It has to do with right and wrong. Uh, Carrie Lake, a new poll shows her doing well in the primary. Cinema, if cinema runs, will basically tank the Democrat. So Carrie Lake's continuing um, political saga in Arizona. And by the way, I, I admire her for this. You know, if you run for governor like she did, and she barely lost, although she might have won, really, um, as you build up all that name recognition, you might as well use it if you like it. If you like politics, you might as well use it, you know? So many people do it once and then walk away. I don't think they can handle the losing. It crushes them. Um, this is wild. Two to one ruling. The Kentucky can continue to block the... Uh, gender surgery stuff, gender affirming stuff. So it's a win for the Republicans in the state of Kentucky. COVID, apparently it's coming back. You know why? They need to bill it as COVID. I'm sure it's just the flu. And Chip Roy's laying down the law. He's made a long list. And he's saying if they don't come to Papa on this border issue, he said, I love this guy. The president can go straight to hell. Good for you, Chip. Got like a guy named Chip. This is the Bulldog. Every dog has their day. Have a great day.